Hey guys, it's Psycases, and today we're kind of doing like a story time video, I guess you could call it. Um, I'm not really doing many story times most of the time, and I'm not really like doing that. So it's school night and it's kind of like late, but I decided to do a video anyway since I haven't done one in like a while. And it's been a year since I posted it on my channel, so I was like, mm, I took a way too long break, so let's just get back into it. And so today we're doing something that happened to me today. It's going to be a short one, it's not going to really be that long, but it's just to hope, like, really to get answers out of you guys and if you can relate to the story um the light's kind of in the way so i'm gonna have to turn that off Yeet. okay it's still kind of dark okay the light's just gonna be like that okay guys anyways hope i can filter this out something when i'm editing but anyways um let's get into it so when like when i was so, in the afternoon, guess, I guess, like, maybe 1-something or 12-something o'clock, I was with my friends, and we were playing, and then out of nowhere, my friend, mm, uh, there's no point, I'm just going to say her real name, my friend, the drawer, maybe watching this actually right now, um, <laughs> she asked my friend Anna this question, and I was like, I didn't actually ask them, but. Okay, guys, sorry, that was a door, so that was kind of interrupting the story. But let's get back into it. And so, she went into his ear and whispered, Who's your? And then I couldn't hear anymore because she was whispering and I could barely hear the words she was saying. Then, and I responded back with, I don't really remember the words. But, like, I do, but. There were only faint words of what she said. I couldn't hear the rest of it. I only heard two names, Larry and Tyrone. I was pretty suspicious at this point. I didn't want to talk about it that much because at first I was like, meh. But then when I thought about it a bit more, I felt a bit eliminated from the conversation. Like I wasn't a part of it and they didn't trust me enough to tell me. Like they just didn't feel like I would keep it secret as she said don't tell anyone and i felt pretty eliminated i felt like just left alone i even though i was with people there i just felt lonely because they didn't seem to include me in whatever they were talking about so it made me feel a bit conflicted because i was like hmm i don't understand so i wasn't feeling too good at that point and then on and on i just had this bad attitude I didn't really have a bad attitude. I was just not feeling good. But when I got home, I started to get a bad attitude. But I'm back to normal now since I calmed down a bit. But I'm still not very happy about it. Because they just did it right in front of me. And they knew I was there. But they still decided to whisper in front of me. Even though they knew I was there. I mean, why couldn't they tell me if they were going to do it in front of me anyway? What's the point? Because I was obviously going to hear some of it. Like, there's no point in whispering in front of me if you're not even going to tell me. So what's the point? Just go somewhere else and do it. Because that's just kind of annoying as you you know I'm there. And then you're going to go like go and whisper in someone's ear. I know I'm probably making a big deal out of this. And they probably didn't mean it in that type of way. But I just still feel eliminated from it. And I don't feel too good about what they did. I'm still kind of mad at them. Because... If you're going to go whisper in someone's ear and make it a secret, then don't do it in some in front of someone. And we're like close friends, so I didn't I think we should be able to tell each other most of the stuff that happens. And if they can't trust me enough with that type of information, then that's how you know that they don't trust you. Like that's just if you don't trust me or like that's probably not how it is, but if you're going to whisper and you're going to do it in front of someone, that's just messed up. Like come on, can't you do it somewhere else? You don't have to do it in front of someone. Because, what's the point? Like, I got really mad. I, I still am mad. Like, I just don't like that type of stuff. I don't do that in front of people. Whenever I need to tell someone a secret and I don't want anyone else to know about it, I will take them somewhere else to a different place. And then, I would tell them. I'd be like, 
yeah, this is what happened. But they did it right in front of me, so that's what made me mad. Like, I wouldn't have been that mad if we were somewhere else. Like, I wouldn't be that eliminated from it. But they did it right in front of me and didn't even tell me, so that's why I got so mad. Like, hello? I'm right here. If you're not going to tell me, don't do it in front of me. Because that just triggers me. Anyways, this is a pretty short video. I don't really want to talk about it too much because I feel like I'm going to get emotional and start crying. So I don't want to cry on camera. That's just annoying. And I don't think any of you want to see me do that. So I know we were short and it was like only like a five minute video and not really. I don't know if it was interesting to you guys, but you can leave a like if you thought it was. And let me know in the comments if you want to put a comment down below what you thought of the video and if you can relate to anything i just said and if you've ever felt eliminated from a conversation and someone's like you just feel alone even though you're around people i want to know if you felt like that before if you have put it down in the comments and maybe i can relate with you more anyways i hope you had mm, hope you enjoyed the video and you actually got some entertainment from me um saying what i experienced um i don't know if you really did or maybe you can like relate but, um, please subscribe, like, hit that notification bell so you can get notifications for me whenever I post. I may sometimes post on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, maybe a Friday if I feel like it. But I can also post on Saturdays and Sundays, but I don't really do that that often. So maybe a Friday if I feel like it. And, um, that's it. Bye, Stizies. Oh, 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 oh.